morning guys uh it's monday morning 10 past 7 i've been up since 5 just did a quick uh, fitness session this morning uh i just thought now while i was in the session i just thought about this and it's something that i actually experienced a little while ago uh and there's some wisdom that was shared by my conditioning coach uh ivan van rooyen and we chatted about what is the difference between when something's on the line and when something's not on the line so let's say for example you're busy with a training session and you have to do 10 reps of a bicycle or something like that but now it's your fifth set already and you only do eight reps because you know ah, you'll come back tomorrow again and you'll you know you'll be better next time what if and we we talked about like running and fitness and all of that kind of stuff but what if on the other side of that what's on the on the line is someone in your family you know possibly dying if you had to do 10 push-ups to save someone's life you know like that's very close to you like a family member or something like that best believe you're going to do those 10 reps whether it takes you five minutes or whether it takes you 30 seconds you're going to do those 10 reps because you know something's on the line and we talked about just making a mind shift you know just making a mind shift to the fact that if you don't do it properly uh, something's on the line and you won't be able to 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 what you call it to save someone's life so you know how do you flip that switch how do you get to a point where everything is so important to you that you know that whenever you don't do something properly you know it's not to say that someone's gonna die but you're always gonna strive to get it because there might be something on the line you know so it's a, it's, a, it's a funny thing to think of and I know a lot of people will say yeah but what if you can't do it and you know sometimes it's just physically impossible I've seen so many times that people can do stuff when they know that something's on the line adrenaline is a funny thing and a mindset is something that can change your whole life you know so for me that was just something that I was thinking about this morning as I was thinking of giving up in that session because it was a really tough session um, you know like I just thought of the fact that when something's on the line it makes it so much more worth it for you to be able to do something properly you know like why don't we have that mindset every day of our lives that we strive and you know put pride in the fact that we want to do something properly because we want to get somewhere we want to save a life or we you know something's on the line
so guys i decided to do a mega vlog this week uh i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like the whole week in one video so i hope it's not too long uh this is tuesday now it's about 15 45 it's blazing hot i just got into the car now did a power 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 monster back workout i wouldn't really call it a monster back but proper 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 back session it was a good one and then i uh, did a bit of running on the treadmill which i couldn't record obviously i'm running so difficult to record that but did about i think it was about 40 minutes 45 minutes of running on the treadmill i did a 1.6 rested for the same amount of time that i ran the 1.6 and then i went again did the same thing then an 800 meters and then rest as long as i ran the 800 did the 400 and then rested like a minute and a half and then another 400 so yeah that's a proper treadmill session proper fitness session as well uh let me know if you guys want to give it a shot what it looks like and how it feels uh hit me up on the comments or in the comments and yeah man it's gonna be a good one this is actually picking up a little bit this week so getting a bit more busy uh got golf in the morning and then speed in the afternoon and then i got a little gym session planned as well in between so that should be interesting it's going to be a good one as well all of that happening in Joburg. so looking forward to showing you guys that hope you guys had a lovely day and yeah man stay tuned stay tuned this is going to be a powerhouse one Up, up, up. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Lovely. Session uh, with Peter, and then I'm 
I'll see what I'll see. Maybe I've got some legs to do afterwards as well. If I don't get enough leg work, I can put a session, which I doubt I will get because obviously it's mostly upper body. Um, and I might have to do some, some legs afterwards, but it won't be a lot of heavy weights because I put a lot of load on my legs this week actually so far. And tomorrow's already Thursday and we're starting on Monday, so also don't want to overwork myself and work myself into fatigue and when I get there I'm going to go into fatigue anyway so the big focus is to get there as fresh as I can already put in a lot of hard work so it's always a difficult thing to figure out the balance between working hard and then getting back and being refreshed as well you know after the break because there's no break after this not until I think the 19th of December so yeah it's always an interesting balance I guess you learn as time goes and it gets a bit better, you know, with your with your balance to get it right on how long you need to be off and how long you need to train and how hard you actually need to train. So, yeah, very, very, you learn as you go along. So, it's probably my ninth or tenth uh, pre-season now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's weird being 27 and then playing the game for about nine years now. So, yeah, very interesting. Actually thought about it this morning. Sylvia mentioned it in the gym. He's like, "Yo, do you know that we're actually going on six and nine years, you know, of being in the game?" So it's quite crazy to think of it like that. But fortunate, blessed, very happy to do that. You know, like it's, it's you. I'm, I'm living my dream, man. You know, for me to wake up every morning and think of training and stuff like that, being my office, you know, like that for me is just a joy. And I won't take it for granted even one day. Like, I, I really appreciate the fact that I can get up every day and just love my dream. All glory goes to God for that because it's only through His grace and His, you know, mercy that I am where I am and that I'm enjoying it each and every day. So, yeah, signing off for today. It's Wednesday, five minutes past two in the afternoon. I'm on my way home now. Um, literally just going to recover today, take it easy and make sure that I'm fresh tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock before my session starts. So, yeah, back at it, back at it. Hope you guys have a lovely one. So just finished the boxing session uh, again my second one for the week I've done about six sessions now in four days and it's only Thursday morning so yeah really putting in a lot of hard work this week uh, I just have to be careful so that I don't do too much because next week is really going to go even a one notch up as well from this and this has already been a good week so yeah hopefully I can get in another rehab session later I'm off to go and do my hair now um yeah so i'll show you guys a little bit of that i'll actually show you guys what my hair looks like when it's loose a lot of people have been asking me to wear my hair loose for a game and the reason why i haven't done it i wanted to do it but the reason why i haven't done it was first of all the guys are going to pull my hair that's the first thing because you know you get dirty players out there and then the second thing is it's way too much hair it's going to go all up in my face when i'm starting to sweat and i know you guys are going to say yeah but wear a band and do all of that kind of stuff I like it when my hair is braided and you know it's in control when it's loose you'll see what I mean it's really out of control it's really been long you know since I've cut my hair uh, I think I grew it from a trick or just after I left school so it's about eight nine years now that I've been growing my hair and I haven't cut it you know so yeah they messed up my hair the first four years or so but for the last four years or five years I've actually been looking after my hair you know it's not a, like a big deal but you know like you obviously want to look decent and make sure that your hair is looked after especially when it's long it's a lot of maintenance i go every second week to do my hair as well because i hate it when my hair goes loose like this now already it's looking like a mess that for me is a mess so you need to be able to see each and every line which i'll show you guys once my hair is done and yeah so i take a bit of pride in my hair as well um i've threatened a little bit every now and again saying no i'm gonna cut my hair you know i'm gonna take it off but i haven't gotten myself to get to that point where i cut my hair off i think this is kind of me now you know like i tried a lot of styles in my life but this is basically my style that i'm that i'm happy with you know and i'm enjoying so uh i'm gonna show you guys that just now and then we'll be back Mm-hmm. 
So, uh, that's what I was talking about when I do my hair, that's what it's supposed to look like. Got a bit of a trim as well. Just a little observation and obviously personal experience as well. You know, a lot of people when they get their hair done, they've got a kind of like a little swag or something going on, you know, like it's a crazy thing how much hair plays a big role, how nice your hair looks or when you get it done. Even if you feel like, you know, it's, it's nice, but some people look at it and they're like, whoa, no, actually not that great, you know, like, but it just does something for your confidence. It's like guys going for a fade and getting a trim, you know, like on a Friday and whatever, and going into the weekend, the guys are feeling hot the guys are feeling like hey i'm the man this this weekend you know i'm definitely picking up someone the ladies again when they do their hair you know it's like they 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 kind of like go into this thing where like hey you know like i'm i'm, I'm that one i'm that one so it's just a weird observation and obviously personal experience as well i enjoy when i go for my hair because you know like it, it's obviously it's neat you know and and, and you want to look after your personal appearance as well you know so that's something important as well so yeah no just an observation from my side this is what my hair looks like when it's actually done the first day so that's what i enjoy you know so i i love that feeling of having clean you know proper lines and stuff done you know when i just did my hair like that for me is like it's 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 good it's a good feeling you know and you need that for yourself like that me time where you just spend time and just do something for yourself whether it's for ladies you know for them to do their nails or whether it's for a guy to go and get his hair cut or trimmed or something you know you there's something always that you can do for yourself to make yourself feel good about yourself you know so it's very important for your own sanity and to you know for people around you as well because it just puts you in a positive space so i just thought that i'd share that with you guys i'm definitely done for the day uh so yeah just taking it easy for the rest of the day recovering today i might go for a session tomorrow uh i'm i'm still i'm still thinking about that because i've done six proper sessions this week so far but you know i can't sit still i have to do the work so we'll see how it goes